All right guys, so we're back with a brand new video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, create the set prefix command. So if you saw the last two videos, in the last video, we set up Slappy with uh, Mongoose or MongoDB. And uh, in the previous video before that, I showed you guys how to create the setup command. Um, so this command basically will create the guild config for your guild. So now we just need to create a command that updates the prefix for us so we can pretty much uh, have a global, not global, but we can have a prefix for each guild. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're simply going to go ahead and just create the uh, prefix command. Now, like I said, if you have Slappy installed, you can just use the CLI tool to create the command for you. So if you just type Slappy and then you hit generate, and then you hit command. And I'm just going to type uh, prefix or set prefix. And then we're going to go ahead and set the category to admin. So now this will create the set prefix command. And you can change the name of the class if you want to as well. Uh, so it doesn't really detect capitalization for each word, but that's not really a huge deal. Anyway, so we have this command now and we want to implement the logic. So how does this command work? Well, all we're going to do is we're basically going to go ahead and query the database and we're going to check to see if uh, there is a guild config for the guild. If it does not exist, that means the owner of the guild has not yet s used the setup command. Now, if there is, what we're going to do is we're simply just going to go ahead and update the, uh, we're going to update the guild config and we're going to change the prefix to whatever the uh, the user has entered in or whatever they want to change it to. So not too complicated. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we'll need is we'll need to get the guild ID. So I'll just grab that right over here. So const the guild ID is equal to message dot guild dot ID. Now the thing that sucks since we're using JavaScript, we can't really type annotate anything. So we won't really get IntelliSense. OK, but if you recognize command handlers and the function, you'll notice that it has the client, which is the discord client, the message and then the arguments. OK, so the arguments are pretty much going to be whatever uh, you whatever the uh, command arguments are. And the message is just the the message object that represents the original message the user sent. So now that we have the guild ID, we're going to go ahead and a query the database so we're going to need to search for the guild config first so we're going to go ahead and just import the model and that's going to be from schemas guild config schema and now i need to add async in front of this because we're going to use await so const guild config db equals await guild config and we're going to call dot find one and we want to search for the guild config based on the guild ID. So we're going to go ahead and just pass in the guild ID just like that. OK, and now uh, we should probably also uh, wrap this in a try catch. OK, so now if there is a guild config DB, then what we'll do is we will update and change things. If there isn't, then we will just simply say you have not uh, you have not set up your bot or something like that. You have not set up your guild configuration. Okay, so if the guild config is found in the database, then all we're going to do is we're going to update. Now we can actually also skip this, and we can actually uh, use the find one and update command or not command function find one and update okay and we can pretty much pass in the guild ID as the filter and then the update query we would just specify what it is that we want to update and we can just say okay well the prefix is what I want to update so let me go ahead and just grab the prefix real quick so the prefix is always going to be the is always going to be the first element in this args array. So const prefix equals args subscript zero. 
And there we go. So uh, that should do the trick. Um, and yeah, so let me go ahead and just simply console log the error in case if there is an error. And let's go ahead and just console log uh, guild config db. Okay, so pretty much the way find one update works is it'll search for uh, it'll search for a uh, a document uh, that matches the filter, which our filter is basically this guild ID. We're searching by guild ID, and then it's going to apply the update, which is going to be this second parameter over here. And we can specify what it is that we want to update. We only want to update the prefix. Okay, we don't want to update anything else. So we're just going to only specify prefix. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my MongoDB compass. Just so we can visualize the changes as we are implementing this. Alright, so... Okay, got my database opened up. So right now, you guys can see that it is... Uh, there's a question mark for the prefix. So uh, let me go ahead and start up the bots. Uh, let's see, so we have an invalid token, and the reason why is because I actually reset my bot token, so give me one second. Alright, so we're back, so now let's go ahead and look at our uh, code. Okay, so everything is working well. Okay, we have this uh, deprecation warning. It says use create index instead, so let me go ahead and see if I can So that's true. Okay, there we go. So that gets rid of the deprecation warning. Um, okay, so let's go into our server and let's go ahead and if we use the setup command, you're gonna see that it says you already have a configuration setup. Now let's use the set prefix and let's change it to exclamation mark. And you'll notice that uh, everything works. Now it says another deprecation warning. Uh, we're just going to ignore this for now. Um, oh, actually, no. Find one and update and find one and delete without the use. Find and modify. Options defaults are deprecated. So we should pro Oh, okay. So, I mean, I think maybe we should probably not ignore this. Because that would be bad practice. And I don't want to have you guys... Uh, I don't want you guys to follow bad practices. So it seems like we should need to set this to true. Okay. But, okay, so basically it didn't throw an error, and it did console log, so that means everything was successful. Now, you can see over here, it still shows the old prefix, but if I go into the database over here, you can see that the prefix has been updated. Okay, so that works just fine. Now, let me go ahead and just change the prefix back again to whatever that is, the question mark. And you're going to see that uh, still is giving us the deprecation warning. Use, find, and modify. Options to false are deprecated. Huh, interesting. Oh, wait. Find one and update. I'm not sure why it's still giving me the... Uh, huh, well, that's interesting. Well, okay, so I'm just going to probably ignore this for now. I'll suggest you guys to look at this link over here. If you guys get that, I suggest you guys to look at that. Oh, it seems like we actually need to do that right over here. It seems like use, find, modify, I think. Let's see. It's saying that make Mongoose use find one up in note this option is true. By default, you need to set it to false. You can also configure it. Okay, so it seems like we have to set this to false, not true. So I apologize for uh, wasting a minute right there. So that should get rid of the deprecation warning. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. So it changes and we don't have the deprecation warning anymore. So that's good. And okay, so you'll notice that the, the log over here, it still shows the old prefix. If you actually want it to get the new prefix, you can pass in 
inside the query options, which is the third parameter, which is an object, you can pass in new and set this to true. And that would give you the new prefix. So this is going to be very useful if, let's say, if you were caching uh, all of your guilds prefixes and you wanted to update it, you can easily do that. OK, so now if I go ahead and if I were to change it to, let's just say, a dollar sign. You're going to see in the log and now it gives us the new uh, value for the prefix before it gave us the old one even after we update it but now it gives us the new one okay so this is how you would update the prefix okay now how do we actually make it so that this prefix works because you, you'll notice that uh, we're still using the old prefix the question mark and that has to do with how uh, you set up your command handler now, if you are using Slappy, uh, what I will do in the next video is I'm going to show you guys how to pretty much fix that, uh, how to pretty much use the correct prefix, the updated prefix, so that way it's dynamic. Because right now, uh, the way that we are using the prefix, it's actually uh, hard-coded. As you can see, client.prefix, what is this value? Well, that value is set right over here inside this iffy you can see it says client.prefix equals config.prefix and this is just coming from the slappy.json file which if you if you look right over here this is where the prefix is so right now it's hard coded and we're not taking any data from the database okay so like i said one of the downsides of using slappy would be uh, a lot of things are already hard code for you. So if you're not sure how to modify it, that might be a little bit tricky. But don't worry. In the next video, I'll show you guys how to pretty much uh, implement this uh, prefix, this dynamic prefix in a standard way. Well, I shouldn't say standard, but in a way that it would work with any type of command handler. It's going to be very simple. I promise you guys won't be that difficult. And we'll talk more about that in the next video. So hopefully you guys like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.